Hey, Sophia, nowadays computers can fit in our hands. This is so convenient. Yes, Romy, but it was not always so. The early computers were very bulky and slow. Really? Please tell me the history of computers. Sure, Romy. Let us learn about the history and the generations of computers in this chapter. The Abacus The Abacus was the first calculating device invented by man. It has been used by man since ancient times. It has a wooden frame which is divided into two parts by a horizontal beam. Both the parts have vertical rods with beads which are used for counting and calculating. The upper deck is called the heaven and consists of five value beads. The lower deck is called the earth and consists of one value beads. It was widely used in ancient Asia. It is still used in countries like Japan and China. Development of computer. Before we move further, let us know about the persons who made important contributions in the development of computers. Some of them are as follows. John Napier. John Napier was a Scottish mathematician who invented a calculating machine in the 16th century which comprised of a set of rods carved from bones. These rods were used to do multiplication. This machine was known as Napier's bone. Blaise Pascal Blaise Pascal was a French mathematician. In 1642 CE, he invented a mechanical calculating device which could do addition and subtraction. It was called Pascalin. It was made up of wheels and gears, set of tooted wheels connected to each other, and the numbers were displayed by rotating the wheel. Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz was a German mathematician who invented a mechanical calculator known as the Stepped Reckoner, which could do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Charles Babbage Charles Babbage was a British mathematician and is known as the father of computers. The first mechanical computer was designed by Charles Babbage in 1833. His computer was called the Analytical Engine. It had the ability to handle large amount of data and process information at a very high speed. But it was very costly at that time. Lady Ada Lovelace the instructions given to the analytical engine were in the forms of zeros and ones which gave birth to the concept of binary arithmetic. This concept was introduced by Lady Ada Lovelace in 1887 CE. She is also known as the founder of scientific computing and first lady computer programmer because she introduced the concept of programming, that is, how a machine could be made to follow a series of instructions. Harman Hollerith Herman Hollerith, an American statistician, invented the tabulating machine in the late 18th century. It followed the IPO cycle and the input was in the form of punched cards. Generations of computer. There are different generations in your family. For example, your grandparents belong to one generation. Your parents belong to another generation. And you and your siblings belong to the next generation. Similarly, there are generations in the development of computer too. Let us learn about these generations of computer. Generations of computer. First generation. Second generation. Third generation. Fourth generation. And fifth generation. First generation of computer. 1938 to 1955. The first modern computer was made in 1939 by Conrad Juice, a German scientist. It was called Z2. It was made using vacuum tubes. But this computer was not meant to be sold to the public since it was extremely slow as compared to today's computers. First generation computers were very big in size and very expensive. Vacuum tubes were used as a major component. They consumed lots of electricity and were very slow in operation besides being highly error prone. The machine language was used as the programming language in this generation of computers. 
The first computer to be made available to the public use was Univac, made in 1951. It was used till 1970. It was also known as Big Pocket Computer, as it was very costly. Some other examples of first-generation computers are ENIAC, Electronic, Numerical Integrator and Computer, EDVAC, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer, EDSAC. Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator and Univac Universal Automatic Computer. Second generation of computer, 1955 to 1964. The second generation of computer was made after the invention of the transistors in 1956. These transistors were used instead of the vacuum tubes. The size of the computer reduced greatly, but it was still very big. These computers were reliable, smaller in size, faster and cheaper than the first generation computer. Assembly language was used as the programming language. Some examples of second generation computers are IBM 7000, IBM 605 and Mark 3. Third. third generation of computer 1964 to 1975. The third generation of computers use integrated circuits also called as ICs in place of transistors these computers were much smaller than the second generation computers the second and third generation computers were not user friendly and were used in big companies they were more reliable and consumed less energy programming was done in high level language it was possible to run many applications at a time on these computers some examples of third generation computers are IBM 1130 and Univac 1107 fourth generation of computer 1975 to 1989 the fourth generation of computer began with the invention of microprocessor called as chip in 1971 the microprocessor was the result of the development of large scale integrated circuits lsi and very large scale integrated circuits vlsi Many LSIs and VLSIs were put together on a single chip. With the use of microprocessors, the computer was now able to fit on a working table. The speed, accuracy and reliability of the computers also improved. The early fourth generation computers were Kenback and Mits Altair. It was the time when two companies, Apple and IBM, emerged in the market along with Intel. In 1981 IBM introduced its first computer for home users and in 1984 Apple introduced the Macintosh. These companies launched computers for everyone. Due to competition between these two companies the price of the computers came down. Some examples of the fourth generation computers are IBM 4341 and Apple 11. Fifth generation of computer 1989 till present in 1990 intel developed different versions of microprocessors the latest highly developed processor made for computers was called pentium due to pentium operating systems like windows and macintosh became possible these processors have made the present day computers very accurate and cheaper The fifth generation of computer is based on artificial intelligence. They use SLSI, super large scale integrated chips. These computers will be able to recognize voice, image and graphs. Some examples of fifth generation computers are robots, quantum computers and nano computers. The computers used nowadays are the fifth generation computer technicry Abacus it was the oldest form of the computers which was developed around 5000 years ago Napier's bone it was a calculating machine invented by John Napier it was made up of a set of rods carved from bones these rods were used to do multiplication Pascalin Blaise Pascal invented this mechanical calculating device which could do addition and subtraction stepped reckoner Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz invented this calculating device which could do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Analytical engine. This was the first form of a general computer designed by Charles Babbage in 1833. Vacuum tube. It was an electronic tube that controlled the electric current. 
Transistor The transistor was made up of semiconductors and was a component used to control the amount of current or voltage. Integrated Circuits IC An IC is a set of electronic circuits on one small plate, usually made of silicon, that can hold hundreds of transistors. Microprocessor Many LSIs and VLSIs were put together on a single chip called a microprocessor. Let's refresh. Abacus was the first calculating device. It is made up of thin rods carrying beads which are used to count or calculate. Charles Babbage invented first general purpose computer called the analytical engine. There are five generations of computer. First generation of computer used vacuum tubes. Z2 was the first computer. Second generation of computer use transistors. Third generation of computers use integrated circuits. Fourth generation of computer used microprocessors. Fifth generation of computers use highly developed microprocessors.